watch it. Taking in information, not jumping to conclusions. They try to play on our emotions so much, I like to just sit back and wait for the dots to connect. You feel me? It sucks watching people sleep. I understand now why the higher ups call people sheep. They go where you send them. Of all the things that should offend them, they only focus on what you tell them should upset them. I remember this music exec told me the people are sheep. Most of them stupid as heck. Focus on you, get a check. But I refuse to mislead people. A view them as less just to be mocked by the same people I choose to protect. It's like I'm back in the day, going against mass and getting attacked by the slaves, taking my lashes. Why they laughing away? Cause they don't know that I was. Trying to free them. Uh, they played a clip for them, told them I was trying to leave them. Uh, I found out they putting poison in what they feed us. They kill us slow from the inside and make us weaker. They said he's trying to steal your food, he wants your children to starve. They showed a picture of me burning all the shit we've been eating. Cause when the truth make them shook at me, they drum up a case. If they can change how you look at me, you'll laugh while they whooping me in front of your face. The right narrative can bury who they want to erase. Remember Lauren Hill spoke up? Crazy. Chappelle didn't want to wear a dress when he left. He was crazy. Ye was in the bed with their celebrities calling himself Jesus. But when he met Jesus, crazy. Trump was they buddy. They all got money. Before he ran for president, these same folks loved him. I wonder what changed though. Is it cause he racist or wouldn't like the White House up like a rainbow? You don't find it funny that the same Grammys and Oscars we call racist claim to hate him because of that. A whole industry that promotes evil consistently. Now they hate evil and shame people who disagree. Some of that he bring on his and so do Ye though. You can't meet with him, agree with him, or say his name no. We we'll call you a coon, Uncle Tom, and say you ain't black. You wonder why Joe Biden feel comfortable enough to say that? Isn't that the same way you used to manipulate cats, calling you homophobic when you don't agree with they plans? Black folks running the same plays the gays ran, cause black lives didn't matter till we shook they hand. Then it was first gay NFL player black. Then it was first gay NBA player black. Then they had a wedding at the Grammys presented by him and the black. Black rapper, and guess who officiated that? Uh, a black woman. Uh, they used our oppression as a tool for protection and sympathy as a weapon. Just like you. Mm. I see the dots start connecting as these fake Jews call Ye anti Semitic. Uh, History of oppression. Uh, you can't disagree with them. Sympathy is a weapon. If you do, you mistreating them. They ripped the black billionaire in front of your face to say no matter how rich you get, stay in your place. Nigga, promote sex, drugs, murder on the daily. Uh, you can kill babies. Okay. You can say a man got. Got pregnant by a lady really? The things that you can't say Don't make you question why What you can't say is gravy uh, I'ma kill a nigga, nigga. I'ma kill a Jew. Jew One of those are wrong, wrong. One of those are cool. cool One of those will get a rich black man canceled The other one to put a new Grammy on his mantle yeah. But what do I know? Uh, I'm just a Christian rapper, rapper. Black entrepreneur Black father active yeah. Black husband rapping like he care about a black life Black philanthropist Water to Africa and the Flint Black man of God with a cat your children can rap along with in the car with you And it's hard what you saying? And I ain't saying this so y'all support me I'm just trying to show you what y'all been calling corny oh. People remember the narrative is imperative yep. What other reason would Jews flip on Jesus and choose Barabbas? We still choosing the killers over the hillers, huh? huh? We still follow whatever leaders they give us, huh? huh? Look at the ones with the most influence They won't go against the grain They paid to make the grain look dope to us yep. I digress, y'all Yo. I just be over here corny watching all the cool rappers put a dress on I just want you to take a look at the industry look close. Hollywood and music, look at the symmetry Look at what they push, look at what they claim to be about Look how anybody in disagreement get weeded out Think about what you and them agree about Abortion and same sex and one result they both bring about Death, but God is life so the plan is Murder your seed to make sure it don't get planted Y'all remember God made a promise to Abraham remember. To multiply and seed see. Now look at Satan's plan, plan. He got his brainwashed so bad We march for the right to do it to ourselves Look ma, no hands But you don't think the devil real so you can't see it, see it. So you never understand why they hate Jesus nope. Just beware of wickedness in high places Claiming they Jews but they the synagogue of Satan This I was on the plane the other day And I'm watching this movie called Ocean's 8 And these ladies, they were pulling off this bank heist And halfway through the movie I realized I'm rooting for the bank robbers They're, they're the bad guys, but That's whose side I'm on in this thing I want them to get away And I asked myself, how is the Christian Going for the bad guy in the movie? And I know you'd be like, oh, but it's just a movie Eh, 
I've never watched an episode of SVU and was hoping that the pedophile got off. So what's the difference? Why is it when I watch Bad Boys, I'm going for the cops? When I watch Takers, I'm going for the robbers? Then it hit me. The director is able to present this thing in such a way that he can control which side I fall on. So my question to you is, if this director can do this with his finite brain, how much more do you think Satan is able to do? If he controls the people who control the narrative. Y'all better get in that word. CNN might say one thing, Fox might say another thing, but the word of God remains the same.